Hello everyone, welcome to your third lesson of African drumming. I hope you're enjoying your week so far and you've been practicing the rhythms from last week. Remember, I always put links to all the backing tracks and everything else in the description of this video. So firstly, make sure you have a, found a quiet space where you can fully immerse yourself into this lesson. And uh, if you're able to put headphones on or earphones on and get yourselves comfortable. First, we're going to do a little bit of a warm up, doing some more body percussion, just like we did last week. So remember, you're simply using different parts of your body to create rhythms. All right. Remember, when you uh, do it in your own time, you can put the song that we've been learning the rhythms of as a backing track and play some body percussion to it so you've got something to do it to. Or you might have some songs of your own that you really enjoy listening to and maybe you want to try to recreate the grooves of this song on your body. Try it out. Okay, so remember it's a call and a response. I will go first and you will copy me. My turn then your turn. Alright, let's try that. Me then you. My turn. Your turn. Now, step, step, and lovely. Oh, very nice. Your turn. And your turn. Very nice. My turn. And me. Your turn. And that's nice. Your turn. And uh, one more. Your turn. And stop. Great. So you see, keep practicing body percussion. Keep having a little bit of fun. And now I'd like to move on to playing the rhythms cuckoo and then I'm going to introduce you to a new one. Hey, so now that we've uh, warmed up, let's recap on the cuckoo accompaniment one and second one. And then we'll move on to a new uh, set of rhythms, which I'll introduce afterwards. So first, let's see if you can remember accompaniment number one of cuckoo. So it goes like this, one, two, one, two, three, four. Got that? And the second one is a slightly more advanced version of, of, the, of the first accompaniment. It starts the same, if you remember. So the first half is one, and the second half, yeah, so that's the second half. So if we put together accompaniment number two goes like this, one, two, three. Four. Bass. One. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Just like that. So that's accompaniment number two. Let's just try with the song one last time together. Remember, I will always put the a link uh, to the backing track in the description of the song, uh, of this video, sorry. So you'll always be able to refer back in your own time to the backing track, put it on, practice uh, as much as you like. Okay? So here's the song. So I'll go through. 
accompaniment number one and then I'll give you a count of four and then we're going to accompaniment number two. Okay, after my count. One, two, three, and Carry on with the song, uh, you can play it, it goes on for a few more minutes, so it's, it's a nice backing track to just play along to. Yes, so just carry on, having some fun with Cuckoo, um, and now I'd like to introduce you to a song called Fiki Fiki, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I'm, again, there's a backing track to it, which there will be a link to the backing track in the description of this video. So, I'll get it ready. That's Fiki Fiki. Now, it might sound a little fast, but don't worry, I'm going to break it down, I'm going to slow it down for you, and I'm going to simplify it. You might have noticed, at the start of the Fiki Fiki rhythm, there's a little introduction. And this is introduction, uh, it's called a call, like a phone call. And what it is, is the call gets everybody ready. And often what it would do, would call people to come over and listen to the music. That's why it's simply called a call. And there's some very standard call that you'll hear again and again and again in West African drumming. So the call itself goes, goes like this. Okay? Now you don't need to worry too much about learning it right now, but I just wanted to introduce you to the concept of call. And what I'll do is over the next few weeks, I will teach you as well the call so you can learn how to play it okay? and, get, and get comfortable with it. I'll play again for you the call. One, two, three, four. And then it goes into the rhythm. So right now the rhythm is fiki fiki. Okay, um, so I'm going to break down Fiki Fiki, I'm going to slow it right down for you and simplify it. First half of the rhythm, first two bits, they go like this. One, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, four, one. 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 Three, four, and stop. Okay, so that's bit one and two. Please, if you need to, just rewind a little bit and practice the, this part again. Okay, remember, this is a video, you can stop anytime, rewind if you need to. Now I'm going to add the other half of the rhythm. Okay, so that's bit three and four. Again, I'll do a slow tempo. So listen first and then join in. One, two, three, four.
go. One, two, three, four. One, Well, I hope you enjoy this. We will play along the backing track for that song, Fiki Fiki, next week. It's in the description of the video, so please feel free to have a practice. It's a little faster, so I wanted to just introduce you to the song this week, to the actual rhythm of the song this week, and then next week we can try together playing along the backing track. Now, for the last segment of the video, I recorded a sound bath using these instruments. You might recognize them. They're called Himalayan singing bowls. So you're gonna take a brain break and join the lovely sound of these bowls. Some people uh, describe the sound of these bowls as like a sonic cuddle. They're really nice, so they will help you relax. Take a moment to just be quiet and still. Remember the best way to enjoy a sound bath and to take a moment to, to take a brain break is to lie down and close your eyes. If you're able to do that, you fully immerse yourself into the sound. If you can't, that's okay, you can still do it sitting somewhere, closing your eyes, and make sure you have headphones on, or earphones. Um, if you don't, that's okay, just put uh, the device you're using to listen to uh, this video as close to your ear as possible. There will be nothing to look at, uh, it's just sound, so you don't need to be watching the screen. Yes, yeah, so close your eyes and enjoy the sound of his balls. See you next week.